Hi everyone, good afternoon. So welcome back to our training session for ACM training. So now we only left two more questions. So this is the second last question that we are going to deal with. After that, section one will be officially done. So congrats to all those that have been following so far. So now let us proceed to the questions. Mm, hold on. Okay. So this is the second last question, which is quite an easy one. We, uh, in this question, we are required to find the prime palindrome because um, as same as the title is stated there, so we just need to find a palindrome between A to B and which is prime. That's it. So let you have a while to read the question first. So the input format actually has just two integer, which is A and B. As the question given here, the range between A and B is between one and hold on, this one is one hundred million. Yeah. So the size is between 5 and 100 million. And then the output format will be very simple. You just print out between A and B, the prime palindrome that exists between these two numbers, the input showing here, A and B. So here got two hints that have been given here. The hints one is going to be telling us to generate the palindromes to see if they are prime. Which is quite useful. Useful after the after a few try, then the hint two actually is the way to generate a palindrome that you're giving here. This is the one of the example that shows how to generate a five digit palindrome here. So let me proceed to the algorithm that I'm using. Okay. So now the palindrome, as a question given, the size A and B is between 5 to 100 million. So for, in case you guys don't know the number palindrome, right? So in here, the single number is actually considered as a palindrome as well. So um, other than that, uh, 11 also is a palindrome, obviously. And other than that, 22, 23, until before 100, only 11 is a palindrome actually. Then after that will be 101, one like the question given here, 101, 131, until this is a palindrome that we need to find. So that actually there is many kind of different algorithm that can be used. In here, the algorithm that I've been trying is actually these two. One is the, the first one is the brute force. Identify the palindrome and the prime at the same time. So which means like I brute force from this i equal to five until hundred millions. So I check every number, every number whether it is a palindrome and whether it is a prime. So this is a way of brute forcing. But obvious, uh, obviously this in this question is kind of like you you will face a problem on the time limit issue. So the second way is like what the USACO has tell us to generate all the palindrome first, then only determine whether the palindrome is it is it prime or not. So there are some other hints that you can use here to increase your searching speed if you are using proof force. So in case you you search one by one, right, from five to hundred millions. You, if you're using this, if you're checking whether it start with or end with two and five, that typical number will definitely is not a palindrome. So if you're having this condition checking there, it basically will save you around zero for three seconds. Actually, this this one I have been trying because I trying these two method itself. For the brute forcing method, actually I hit the time limit issue, so that's why I changing to the second way to do it, which is generating the all the bedroom first, then only determine whether it's a prime number. 
So the brute force way to do it is actually something like this. So for i equal to start, which is the a in, in the question given a there, and the n is actually the b. So I just one for loop, and then brute force every each integer i to determine whether it is a parallel or it is a prime or not. So if if fulfill these two conditions, then we print i. But this method that I are using is actually in the end it gives me one point three second, which exceeding the question required. So I use the second method to try it on. It obviously to get a faster performance and because if we if we generate all the pattern room first, it's gonna save our so Yep. So because for if we search start from integer i to j if to the n, right, we're gonna have a lot of different unused number I would say. If we generate all the pen room first, we will definitely save our search space and data storage as well. So let's see my code here. So this is a sample code for the generating all the pen room itself. So this is how I do it. This C, first we input our the this the starting which is the A and the ending number which is the B. Then I just make all the pendulum generating here. Hold on. Yeah, this is a method make pendulum. So this method will like generate from all the pendulum that exists between one to hundred million. So whether it's prime or not, I will determine later on. So this method is just purely generating pendulum from one to hundred millions. So this is it. Then you see here, this one, one for loop is actually generating one to nine. As I said just now, um, single number is actually a pendulum as well. So we need to consider before one to ten. <clears throat> then the second one is actually generating from the palindrome. It's like also is a one for loop because uh, the first palindrome for a two digit is that eleven, but twenty then after that is twenty two, thirty three. So it's just one for loop can be done. Then the third for loop will be generating one o one to one zero uh, to nine nine nine. Yeah, basically to nine nine nine. So this for loop is like controlled by C and D. So C is a 101, which is, as you can see here, is from starting from 1 to 9, actually. Then this one is from 0 to 9. So if you follow the for loop, right, is it actually generating, like, for example, C equal to 1, D equal to 0, you will generate 101. Then D equal to 1, you will generate 111, and so on. So the following, the for loop, also is the same until generating hundred millions here. So it's kind of proof forcing as well. So they, all this method, uh, all this follow will generate a whole list of pendulum from far, from one to hundred million. So it's as you can see here, it's actually like saving a lot of number as well, other than other than that non pendulum number. So after generating all the pendulum, right? This count palindrome is actually the total palindrome that has been generating. Then it just won't follow. Then I just need to check whether the the list is actually the list that I used to store the palindrome number. So I just need to check this number whether it it, it is a prime or not. Then it is it is it this number is between the starting and the ending number or not? If all this condition fulfilled, then it will print out the answer itself. So if the current number of i is more than n number, so it will terminate off. This is some kind of a dirty way to do it. So I would say. So one of the for prime number to determine the whether the number is prime or not, we can use this method. It actually is a square root of n method. Because we are using only we, we are not searching from i to n number, which is the uh, end of the number. We're just using for one for loop, start from two, because 
uh, the prime number only can be divided by one and itself only. Other number is false. So it's just start from two, then keep going until i times i less than a. So we can search less than a half of the integer itself. So the performance will be O square n actually. So which is quite fast. So now let us see whether this solution how far is how fast is it? Uh, so, yep. Yep. As you can see here, the performance are not that bad. It's quite fast. It's all less than a second. But then, if you are used brute forcing that I've been trying, actually, like time exceeding around one point. The worst case here is in test seven, you will be failed. It's like you can see here, the number is 7 to 100 million. So the time accident is around 1 to 1.3 seconds. So the better way will be generating a pendulum and determine whether it's prime or not. So this will definitely save a lot of time, as you can see here. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching.